Hi everyone, welcome back to Silent Hunter 5. Here we are with U77 and our weekly patrol log. As you can see, the moon is up, the night is dark, and it's perfect hunting time for our U-boat. Thanks again for all the support you show the series. If you want to see some more, as always, hit that thumbs up. It really does help the series and the channel grow. It gives that YouTube algorithm a kick up the backside. Righty-ho! What are we doing? If you remember, last time we took out most of that convoy. Took out the destroyers and then we finished off the craft. Uh, and look what we have over there. That is that remaining ship. She can't see us. We're out of her visual range. So we're blatting along here quite quickly. Um, where are we? We're here. She's coming down here. So... Maybe, maybe today's the day we see that brought inside. Who knows? <laughs> is it going to be a momentous day? Probably not. But we'll see. Anyway, so we'll um, start seeing how she's going. Let's start. Uh, let's start by um, making a couple of marks. If I can get that, if I can pick that up, thank you. Let's put that um, for or after and for. Um, so it gives me a couple of marks there, and then I'll just try and plot a uh, a rough course. All right, we know she's coming through that way. So. Um, Yeah. So, hang on. It's right under the the markings on the map, which is not ideal, right? So if I pop it about there, that is roughly the course I think she's going to be taking. No, it's not. It's rubbish. That's absolutely rubbish, Taff. Come on, man. There. No, still not good enough. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head towards that, and it's going to be up there somewhere, and I'll I'll plan a better execution. Um, of an ambush when I get a bit closer. About there. How's that? On the money, finally. Right, good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's all science and calculations, honestly. It's not just wing and a prayer. Well, it is a little bit wing and a prayer. Uh, let's put a thousand meters up. There we go. That knows where we are. So if we come to there and we can dive down to periscope depth and, um, stop the boat. Uh, we should be in a nice position to try and intercept her. Good. Right. Secured from recharging the batteries. So the batteries should be fully... They're not. They're 50% charged. Secure recharging the batteries. Okay. I misread that. That's fine. Right. We're going to press on then and I'll bring you back when we're in a bit more of a, an attack position and uh, we can do the final calculations with range, speed and all that kind of jazz. Right. I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we've uh, moved into this position. We've gone all stop. We are just slowly drifting forward with a bit of momentum, but that's fine. Got the contact on sonar here, or on the hydrofans here. So let's um, hop onto the periscope, the attack periscope, and um, start to do some calculations for the targeting computer. So, where are we? There she is. Boop. There she is. I see you. Now, I think she's an N1, an NA1. Is that, is that? No, she's an old split freighter. Well, what do I know? What do I know? Shut up, Captain Taff. You haven't got a clue. Right. Um. So, let's do a... Oh, we're slightly off the target, but that's fine. We'll do a speed calculation the old-fashioned way. Boop. Go. Oh, I missed slightly. So, we'll do a, a one-minute tracer and see how good she is after a minute. The other way, of course, would be to find out from the um, identification manual her length of the hull. And then we could um, use the other side of the, the uh, stopwatch, if you know what I mean, to do front to back like we would do in U-Boat to get her speed. But I found this way is slightly more accurate. Ah, Keeping warm with a nice early morning cup of coffee. Okay, 
only a short while to go now. Let's get the pen ready. Stand by. Now, technically, we should go just before the uh, it ticks because I was a bit slow. About now, probably there. But that'll do. We'll measure that distance. From there to there, and that is a hundred and where's two hundred there? Yeah. So it's one hundred and fifty. So a quick look at the calculation for speed, and right, you the way. Uh, one fifty is well, one fifty four meters is five knots. So she's doing five knots. Lovely, wonderful. So speed we can select as five knots. Range is not going to be eighteen hundred. Range is going to be um. Well, she's just she's just. Shy, uh, she's just over that line, so range is going to be approximately 700 meters. 750, 700, 750. Yeah, so we'll go 750. Now, it's going to take forever to cycle that down, so we'll just type it in. Okay, and we'll do a angle of bow. She's a, quite a ways away at the moment, but we'll uh, we'll also recalculate that recalculate that in a second. Thirty-four. Good. Right. We'll leave that to. Uh, whoop. Say that. Um, we'll leave that to um, follow her along. She's a reasonably. Uh, so her the ship's draft is six point one meters. So if we go for around about, torpedo yeah, the three meter. Like, we we'll get torpedo tube one. We've got steam three sto steam torpedoes in one, two, and three. Um, I'm thinking one good torpedo should be the uh, the end of this one. So we'll stick it onto medium speed impact. Um, we'll flood tube one. Not sure if this ship's got any deck guns. I can't see. It's quite dark. There is something there on the rear so she might have a rear deck gun uh, but we'll see how we go on with a torpedo shot first uh, if not we may have to pop up and um, finish off with a deck gun and if that's the case we'll try and get in front of her so she can't swing the rear gun around to us still a bit risky but um, sometimes you've got to take a bit of a risk haven't you hey sometimes sometimes right, if I move that there It's kind of parallel to her course now, which is a bit better. Just gives me slightly easier um, visual cl uh, cues for the things I'm doing. So, so they reckon it's 700 meters. We got 750. Okay, I'll uh, I'll I'll notch that back to 700. That's fine. Um, let's do another angle of bow calculation for. Probably about there. Oh, come on. So that will be 50. So fiddly. Okay, so that will be 50. Now, okay, there we go. Recalculated that. Good. Right, uh, a few more turns to go, and we should be golden. There is a definitely a gun on the back there. I'm not sure on the front. Definitely on the rear. Definitely on the rear. So yeah, we've got to be careful if we do go and uh, do any attacks from the deck gun. Because we all like a bit of deck gun action. I know that. You know that. Yeah, that's what we live for, eh? Keeps DT happy as well. Right. Hopefully Trevor's going to come out to play today. 
Actually, that might be uh, an anti-aircraft gun on the back, which, don't get me wrong, they'll still fire at us, but... Not quite as bad as a, as a proper deck gun. Right. Almost there now. Almost there. Um, I suppose we can get two, two loaded as a kind of a, a standby. But she doesn't know we're here, so she'll be relatively cool and calm. So, what is an old split? We got a bit. Of, we got a few moments. Let's have a little look. Start learning our freighters a bit. An old freighter. Is there a is there a, a a big new split freighter? Who knows? It'll take forever to find her. Oh, there you go. Oh, there is a medium old split, but um, this is a small old split. What was that? Sorry, I was looking elsewhere and I was still cycling through them. You'd have thought the um, the splits would be together, wouldn't you? Apparently not. There we go. Small old split merchant. So she's around 2,400 tons. Noise. Noise. Um, length is 86.9 metres. Draft 6.1 as we know. Width 12 metres. Mars 22.6. Speed 12.5 knots. Crew of 20. Noise. And used by numerous um, countries. Nice. Good. Right, we'll pop that away for a second. Um, right, a little bit of time to wait. A couple more rotations. Let's do some final calculations. <laughs> Make sure we're happy with everything. 700. Seventy-eight. I couldn't read that. Eighty-one. Okay, let's um. Oh, seventy-nine there. Calculate that one more time. I'm not happy how that went. That's eighty-five. No. I could probably just left it to be fair, but okay, good. Um, stand by to fire. Tube one. We're gonna go fire slightly early, so we got time with tube two. Should we require it? Tube one is away. Oh, do you know what? That's going to be close, actually. Torpedo's picking up speed, actually, which is good. Torpedo initially felt very slow away. But um, after a slow start, she's uh, picked up the pace. She's going to get there. Fine. Stand by. And she's gone. One hit. Stand down, Torpedo Chew. Boom. Look at that. That is a great first shot. Out of the blue, kablam. No idea what here. Um, she is our 29th ship. Uh, small old split freighter for 2,428 tons. Nice. What a nice way to start the day. Still don't know what's going on with that date convention there. So that's our 29th ship, as I said. Uh, we are now with 3,038 warship tonnage. Uh, 147,757 Merchant tonnage for a total of 150,795 tons. Woo! And also one aircraft, which was a Wellington bomber shot down. Nice. Right. We need to go and get a resupply, don't we? Um, and we were heading uh, this away. So we're going to continue to head this away. Yes. Returning to course. And um, let's get a moving. Uh, so we're going to make some waves get out of this area because they may send some uh, 
patrols to find out what happened to A, the convoy, and B, this ship, if there's been any further radio communication. Um, so, yeah, we're going to skedaddle and uh, ask for a, uh, a resupply. Let's do that now, actually. As she's going down, we might have time just to uh, pop down here. Yeah, I was so casual about that, I didn't even go to battle stations. How lazy am I as a captain? Right, no, you're the chap I need to speak to. Resupply. Excellent, so we're going to make some uh, waves to get to the resupply, get some more fuel, get some uh, torpedoes. And stop pushing me out the way! <laughs> and I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. Look at this. What a beautiful day. What an absolutely beautiful day. And we are heading towards our milk cow submarines to resupply. Um, she should be just in front of us somewhere. Maybe she's a little bit out of sight. Ah. No. Nope. Okay, well I can't see her. Good news! That torpedo has finally been brought in and we've reloaded it into tube one. Wow. When do we start that? <laughs> well, this one's still being brought in though, so that's probably going to bug out. Uh, so we'll get a fresh torpedo into that um, external reserve, which is good. There, there, is. there she is. So let's sort of head towards her, but not into her. And um, yeah, we'll get a nice resupply. Uh, battery's nicely charged up as well. Also, I thought I saw a flying fish then. Um, we're doing some repairs. We've got the. Um, engine room hull integrity is damaged I didn't realize quite so bad but um, yeah um, we did some repairs to the hydrophone as well we've got the uh, radio room hull integrity 97% which is, is not too bad really nothing to worry about there um, the the rudder I didn't realize was um, quite badly damaged as well these things yeah and this is all from the uh, the depth charge we took a couple of couple of weeks ago um, we pressed our attack despite this, so hopefully that will be more bravery recognised and more um, uh, <laughs> more tier medals. So yeah, yeah. So um, we probably need do need to uh, go back to port after this one and um, get a fresh um, fresh coat of paint on the on the boat and uh, make sure everything else is in order. Uh, so yeah, we're just looking for there she is. There she is. There. Brilliant. Thank you, binoculars. There. There she is there. Look. Ooh. Ooh. I hope none of you have motion sickness or seasickness or anything like that. Because this isn't going to help at all. But yeah, if I try and counter it with the... There there she is. Good. Right. So we're going to resupply. And uh, then we'll head back out and see what mischief we can get up to. There she is. There she is. Looking beautiful over there in the sun. Right. Let's get a resupply then. Refit complete. Nice, nice. We've got some more homing torpedoes in the tubes, which is good. Um, double check uh, the fuel. Fuel's good. So you chuck that from there. Fuel, 99%. Good, good, good. Everything is looking smashing. Right, thank you very much for the goodies. And let's sort of head out of here now. Ooh, there's a ghost ship mark there. Maybe we should go and um, investigate that. Although, I'll we'll come out here first because... Flooding cars. Otherwise, we'll get stuck. There's lots of U-boats around, isn't there? Loads of U-boats in this vicinity, which is, I suppose, it's good. I suppose they're all here for the resupplies. Makes sense, really, doesn't it? So we're gonna press out uh, back to the kind of the kill zones and see if we can get any more um, activity along the way. No messages. We better just send a um, just send a report back to the BDU. So they they know what's going on, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'll uh, I'll bring you back when we um when we find another contact. I'll see you in a few.
Man the flat gun. Right, they've caught us out. They've caught us out. There's not much I can do. Um, so we're just going to... Uh, fire at will. Right. Fire, fall. Full speed. Full speed. He's right up high. It's uh, another Wellington bomber by looks of it. Okay. He's really high. Has he spotted us? He's not going to be bombing from that height. So that's okay. Uh, he may have radioed it. Some weird graphical glitch going on. He may have radioed back to um, to the guys. Now let's see what he's doing. He may circle around and keep an eye on us. He may direct some shipping in towards us, i.e. warships towards us to try and sink us. Or he may try and descend and um, attack us himself. Let's see. He may also direct some other aircraft in. You never know. Uh, we've been sailing around for a long time now. We resupplied down here. I came all the way through these islands, up here, all the way down here. And uh, not much is happening. So I thought, because this um, sort of zone goes all the way around India, I thought we'd um, uh, do some hunting in the Gulf of Bengal. And um, and then maybe uh, come back to home base to uh, do some repairs. Um, yes, but uh, we've been jumped. There's been so many aircraft, so many aircraft. It's crazy, right? He doesn't seem to be too fast. So um, let's go back to normal speed and see what he's doing. Um, we may have to alter course, obviously, because um, he's put, definitely going to radio our position in. Let's come directly, almost directly south, you know, just to try and throw them off any course predictions that they may give out to any other uh, ships or aircraft. So, I think we've, um, yeah, we've kind of survived that one. We'll secure the flat guns, and um, if need be, hopefully, I've been diving to get away from the aircraft so far, but um, that one caught us out. That one caught us out, but um, we'll see what we're doing. We're going to keep moseying on. It's a lovely calm day. Still no ships, unfortunately, since the uh, the resupply. Typical, typical. But um, maybe we've had our fair share in uh, recent recent weeks. So we'll press on, um, but we'll do so next week. I know it's a bit of a disappointing end to the, uh, to the week, but um, yeah, no ship so far. Time has run out for this week, unfortunately. So we're going to leave it there. One ship killed. Um, aircraft dodged and a resupply. Not the most exciting week in the world, but it's been productive nonetheless. This one is almost ready to come in, 13%. Look, they'll be in in the next two months. It'll be amazing. Uh, so if we can get a rearward shot off in the next week, hopefully, then we may be able to bring that external reserve in. Everything else is looking good. As I say, we're going to go around Sri Lanka, back up to the um, Gulf of Bengal, and... Um, do some hunting there next time. So, thanks so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this Silent Hunter 5 video. If you want to see some more, as always, hit that thumbs up. Helps the series and the YouTube channel immensely. Share on social media. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe. Tickle the bell. Take care. I'll see you next week.